Hi everyone, uh, today we're patching a couple of holes in drywall and the bathroom. We're remodeling this bathroom and um, we took one of those big old ceramic towel racks off the wall and this is what we're left with. So apparently they go in the wall and they're kind of glued in there. So fortunately this one has a stud behind it so I'm going to cut a patch of drywall to fit in there and then screw it right to the stud. This one does not have a stud behind it so what I'm going to do here is take a block of wood, I put a screw in it so I can hold on to it, I'm going to stick it in the hole like this and then I'm going to screw those drywall screws into it and then that'll be my backing for this hole and then I'll cut out a piece of drywall to fit in there as well. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. First time doing this, by the way, so we'll see how it works out. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So this little tool here that I'm going to use is in the automotive industry we call it an elephant nose picker. It's gotten me out of many jams. Uh, you can find this, well this is a craftsman so now you can look at Home Depot to find these probably. On the side of it says cotter pin extractor so it also gets cotter pins out with the tip here but I'm telling you, this little tool, it's a lifesaver. So we're going to reach in there and pull the board um, toward the wall there and see if we can do it this way. It's going in, turn, pull the board in. There we go. All right, that worked perfect. You want the screws to go in just beyond the drywall. And then I can put tape around that. Take my screw out. There we go. Okay, next we'll cut a piece of drywall to fit in the squares there. Okay, we got the pieces cut out for the drywall. Uh, basically, you'll need a, a drywall saw like this. Wall board tool, they call it. Um, and you can get a two foot by two foot piece of drywall at Home Depot for like five bucks. So you can do patchwork like this. Basically you just measure it and then you cut out a piece, you stick it in there and screw it in. making sure that your screw heads are just below the surface of the patch that way nothing sticks out so what we'll do is <clears throat> next I'll just sand that down and then we'll put some joint tape around that so I have the other hole here and we'll do the same with that there we go 
And the square doesn't, you know, your cut doesn't have to be exact because you're going to be putting the joint tape on. sand and put some joint tape on it okay joint tape again Home Depot probably five bucks you can find it in the drywall section so we're gonna put this on the edge here just like that use your little spade tool to, to break it like that Okay, that's how you tape the joint. I'll get that little string off of there in a little bit. There we go. And then we'll just put some spackle over that. Again, this is my first time using drywall tape. I'm like you. I'm watching YouTube videos to learn how to do stuff myself because it sure is a lot cheaper and hey if I mess up it's on me if I can do this you can do it it's not terribly hard don't be scared Sometimes it's easy for us novices to be intimidated by jobs like these, but until you try, you don't know. Plus it's rewarding, you know, doing it yourself. Okay, that tape job is done. Okay, next, spackling. Next up, we get some spackling paste here. I got the pink kind and it dries white so you know when it dries. So we're going to just gob this on here like so. on there and then I'll go over it with a wider blade. I never buy too much of this spackling paste because it dries out and then you end up with a can of stuff you can't use. Okay. Now this is a six inch blade. Oops, that I got from Home Depot. Okay. I'll just go over this.
the wide blade just makes it easier to go over a large hole like this to where it, it's a lot easier to sand when you're done. perfectionist unfortunately so I may sand this down once or twice and reapply until it looks really good because when you're painting your your end product really is the result of your preparation so if you do a really nice job prepping this when you put the finished product on it you won't even notice that it was there so that's the whole idea about doing the prep work the right way. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you like this kind of stuff please subscribe and we'll never know what our next project's going to be on the list. See it. This coat was really thick that I put on here so I let it dry overnight and now it's all turned white. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is sand it and uh, there's two things I use for sanding. Uh, one is a sanding block uh, which is great for small areas and hard to get to places and um, the other one is this wall sander um, and you can replace these uh, sanding pads these are absolutely great for large areas so I'm going to go ahead and use it on this makes quick work of a large area like that. <clears throat> I do have a little bit of the uh, patch coming out here. So I will probably put a little more spackling over that area. But I can feel uh, a little ridge here. So I'll probably use that little hand sander there. But I do want to take some more off down here. Okay, so here's the patch coming through there too. So I don't want to go too much further. I did glob quite a bit on in the middle here, so I just want to take some of that off. I do a lot of this by feel. You can feel if there's a lump there or if it's uneven.
on the prep work. Better job you do prepping, the nicer it's going to look when you're all painted. pretty good. Okay guys, I'll probably spackle over these little couple areas here just so I can blend that in a little bit more. And then we'll get to painting. Okay, last step is paint. I've got this all sanded down and uh, I wiped it with a uh, damp washcloth just to get the dust off. And, uh, oops, I guess I got some paint on my fingers. Um, so, wipe that up. And we'll throw a coat of paint on this. there is barely noticeable now so there you have it that's how to patch a hole in drywall and um, I am a perfectionist so I can see the outline as you probably can so I may sand it down and do a coat of paint over that I'll have to decide that later but basically that's how it's done thanks for watching and uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. You never know what the next project's going to be. Thanks.